What's up everyone, this is Dan for Gadget Hacks, back with another video how to. Today I'm going to give you a look at Blur Launcher. It's a new launcher that allows you to have Google Now style app pages. Now, let me cover some private info really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Now if you swipe over to the left, you'll get your weather. And if I have anything going on today, I'll get my agenda, my calendar, stuff like that. And if I swipe again, I'll get my text messages. And I also can reply to these text messages right within the page. It's pretty cool and I'll show you how to set this up with Blur Launcher. Now first, you want to download and install Blur Launcher. I linked to that in the article, so be sure to check it out. Now you could also install um, some add-ons that will greatly improve Blur Launcher. So let's go and show you what they look like. You want to also install Blur Unread. It allows you to have um, notification counts for your apps as a, little, as a little notification. Tell you what hasn't been read yet. This is optional, but I recommend you install it too. Now, for the SMSs to show up, you want to also have a Evolve SMS. I talked about this in a past how-to with um, an article I did. And if you want to have Twitter as an app page, you want to download and install Talon for Twitter. It's $1.99, but I highly recommend it. And then you want to also install the Talon Blur Launcher page add-on. Just download that and install it. And once you have everything set up, I'll show you what it, you could do to set it up like. Tap there, go to settings. And under page settings, there's page picker, card picker, and restart pages. Let's go look at page picker. Now, this is page one. You could choose what you want. So right now I have it set to blur info. I'll get my weather and my agenda. Now page two, I have it set to evolve SMS. Well, I'll show my SMSs. Page three, you could set it to whatever you want. Maybe, you know, Talon or Twitter. Click OK. Now for card picker, this is for um, the Blur Info page. Now uh, I have it set so I have weather, calendar, and alarms. Just click OK. Then after that, you just want to make sure you restart pages. Now in display settings, I can change my workspace, my visuals, and my dock. Under workspace, you know, I can change my grid size, my app grid. If I want more space be between the apps, I could change my padding. I can also change the screen orientation if I want to use it in landscape. It's also gestures, stuff like that, and button actions. In visuals, I could change you know, my icons. If I have an icon pack, I could choose that and you know apply it. Icon scale, just I could change the sizing of the icons. Hide the icon names if I want. You know, scrolling effect, app style, the font type. You know, I could change the font. I could also hide the search bar. In dock, I could show the dock or hide the dock. I also change the sizing of the dock. And then number of items if I want more than five. Back out of there, just restart pages and then it'll apply your settings. And then if you just swipe over, you'll get, you know, your app pages. That was Blur Launcher on my Note 3. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. Thanks and you have a good day.